goodness is higher than a mountain. A mother's goodness is deeper than the sea. That is why I am thankful to God for giving me such loving and caring grandparents and parents who are always there with me in all my joys and sorrows. Thanksgiving Prayer O Almighty God, You gave us the commandment to honor our father and mother. In Your loving kindness, hear our prayer for our grandparents and parents. Give them long life and keep them well in body and spirit. Bless their labors. Keep them always in your care. Bless them generously for their loving care for us. Grant that through your grace we may always be their support and comfort and that after our life together on earth we may experience the joy together praising you forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Luke Jesus went on to say, There was once a man who had two sons. The younger one said to him, Father, give me my share of the property now. So the man divided his property between his two sons. After a few days, The younger son sold his part of the property and left home with the money. He went to a country far away where he wasted his money in reckless living. He spent everything he had in that country and he was left without a thing. So he went to work for one of the citizens of that country who sent him out to his farm to take care of the pigs. He wished he could fill himself with the bean pods the pigs ate. But no one gave him anything to eat. At last, he came to his senses and said, All my father's hired workers have more than they can eat. And here I am about to starve. I will get up and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired workers. So he got up and started back to his father. He was still on a long way from home when his father saw him. His heart was filled with pity. And he ran, threw his arms round his son, and kissed him. Father, the son said, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. But the father called his servants. Hurry, he said, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. Then go and get the prize calf and kill it, and let us celebrate with a feast. For the son of mine was dead, but now he is alive. He was lost, but now he has been found. And so the feasting began. In the meantime, the elder son was out in the field. On his way back, when he came close to the house, He heard all the music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him, What's going on? Your brother has come back home. The servant answered, And your father has killed the prize calf because he got him back safe and sound. The elder brother was so angry that he would not go into the house. So his father came out and begged him to come in. But he answered his father, Look, all these years I have worked for you like a slave, and I have never disobeyed your orders. What have you given me? Not even a goat for me to have a feast with my friends. But the son of yours wasted all your properties on prostitutes. And when he comes back home, 
you kill the prize calf for him my son the father answered you are always here with me and everything i have is yours but we had to celebrate and be happy because your brother was dead and now he is alive he was lost but now he has been found the word of the lord thanks be to god this parable gives us a wonderful example of the love of a parent towards children parents want the best things for their children food clothes shelter toys education extracurricular activities pocket money and the things which will give them joy and comfort when children hurt parents with their rude remarks and unjust demands parents are quick to forgive them and accept them no matter what the situation is or what pressures a parent may face they always try to keep their children happy in the busiest schedule of their work or household chores they make all the efforts to ensure their children receive their attention and spend quality time with them when children are late to reach home parents get anxious and eagerly await till the child reaches home above all parents have another important part to play that is give their children the values of being a good christian and help in the faith formation journey every parent wishes that their child prospers and receives the best in life thus bringing a child closer to god through faith formation is also a way to ensure we receive spiritual happiness for our prosperity for our parents and grandparents that they may know our gratitude and we bless them knowing that they have made a difference in our lives our response Listen to your children praying. We pray for the parents who are far away from their children that God may bless them and keep them always in his love. Our response Listen to your children praying. We pray for all the needy, sick and the suffering parents, those in nursing homes, hospitals and aged homes that they may see God's mercy by the works of his people our response listen to your children praying we pray especially this year that for those parents and grandparents who are senior citizens that we may truly love honor and take care of them and be their strength in giving them all the comfort that they need our response lord yes we pray for the parents who are dead May God grant them eternal rest and strength to their children to bear that heavy loss. Our response, listen to your children pray. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen let us say the hail mary together hail, hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen dear lord fill our parents with your choicest blessings and enrich their souls with your holy grace grant that they may faithfully and constantly 
Guard that likeness to your union with your church, which you imprint upon them on their wedding day. Fill them with your holy spirit of holy fear, which is the beginning of wisdom. Inspire them to impart it to their children. May they ever walk in the way of your commandments, and may we, their children, be their joy on earth. and the crown of glory in heaven lord god grant that our grandparents and parents enjoy continuous health in mind and body may they give you abundant thanks because you have bestowed upon them the great gift of parenthood amen Oh no.